Hello and welcome on Watches TV. And since Christmas is not too far down the road, well, why not dream a little? As a few weeks ago, I totally fell in love with a toolbox. Yes, I have a strange love interest. And yes, this was no ordinary toolbox, but just one of these uh, dream objects which simply feel like a must, even though I would probably not use it every day. But just to look at is already a pure pleasure and I know I'm not alone as Sir Jonathan Paul Ive or probably better known as Mr. Johnny Ive, legendary chief design officer of Apple till, uh, till 2019, well actually just ordered and received what is called the coffret tradition. Coffret meaning uh, box in French. So this one is made by a famous uh, Swiss company founded in 1973 called Petit Pierre, which uh, quickly became a well-established company of our industry by developing and manufacturing extremely intricate high-tech and reliable automation machines as well as tools for watchmakers such as the ones we will discover today. And we're talking the royals of uh, tools and you'll understand why. So we went to visit them and had a great time with Mr. Boris Petitpierre, CEO, who told us everything, but we also went to visit a super talented watchmaker, Mr. Olivier Maury, a name uh, to be remembered, just saying. And regarding tools, and uh, just as a side note, well, when you're in uh, your first year of watchmaking school, well, the first thing uh, you will learn is precisely precisely to build your own tools and learn how important they are to you. So when you first see the, the box, uh, you might think that uh, you would find some excellent Havana cigars inside. It indeed looks like a fancy humidor. But when you open it up, well, you will see a full set of tools made for watchmakers, collectors and serious aficionados. And let me describe uh, what we have. So you have different levels and the first thing uh, you see are six beautiful screwdrivers for different sizes of screws going from head diameters of 2 mm to 0.5 mm. And coming back to our six uh, beautiful screwdrivers, uh, their grips are made from uh, precious Makassar ebony. But nowadays it is extremely rare to find it on modern tools and the box itself is also made from this uh, Makassar ebony. So the part of the screwdriver touching the screw is made in high speed steel. It's interchangeable and you will of course have some extras once the part damage or if you prefer not to sharp it again by yourself. And this is actually something you would be able to do thanks to the India stone that you will also find in that box. So the shiny metal parts uh, that you will see on all these uh, six screwdrivers are in brass with a layer of platinum on top. Yes, I told you this was quite fancy. So next uh, to this uh, six uh, screwdrivers where you will see a seventh one which is slightly thicker. This is a dynamometric screwdriver where you can set the torque or power uh, you give on your screw from 5 to 55 millinewtons meter and it's extremely precise. So below these uh, screwdrivers you will find four tools, uh, three tweezers of different sizes, all made in anti-magnetic and stainless steel and the smallest one of the three is used for adjusting hair springs if you are courageous enough to do that uh, by yourself. So on top of them uh, you will see like a stilet that you can use to put in place some uh, small components of the watch movement and for the same uh, use uh, you might also uh, use the walnut wood and uh, leather tool you might uh, find on the top right next to the dynamometric uh, screwdriver. So on the top of that box you will also find a knife with uh, one large blade that you can be uh, that can be used to cut and one smaller blade that can be used to open the case back of uh, some wristwatches and pocket watches or sometimes even uh, take off bezels and other parts. So next to the knife uh, you have uh, three boxes of different size made in uh, platinum uh, plated uh, brass equipped with three mineral glasses. And below the knife you have uh, four tools used to remove and put back the hands. Both levers have to be used together in front of each other to remove the hands. Uh, all two or three hands uh, uh, needs to be on the same axis uh, to be removed at the same time. So the two other tools placed uh, right uh, from the levers are the tools to put back the hands on the watch itself. And you will also find within the box 12 little boxwood sticks and a pin punch. And this pin punch has uh, five different pins of different diameters which are all made from high steel, uh, high speed steel. 
A microfiber towel is also part of the box and you know all about microfibers with one of our latest videos, right? But let's now talk about a very important tool in watchmaking, the magnifying glass. So within the box you will find one uh, magnifying glass with uh, two lenses. If you're only using the larger lens then uh, you will get uh, two times uh, magnification. And if both lenses are used together then uh, magnifying will be uh, up to 12 times. The three hand chucks of uh, three different sizes are also part of the box. Uh, those tools can be used to hold firmly the high uh, speed uh, steel parts of the screwdrivers to sharpen them with the India stone. A hammer is also part of the set and the wood part of the hammer is in ebony and it's just a pleasure to hold. And also present in the box is a brush in uh, ebony with squirrel hair in order for example to perfectly clean a dial before putting the bezel and glass on it. Paste uh, called Rodico is also placed in the box and this Rodico is mainly used to remove little dust on external movement parts or on the dial itself. And a very high-end bellows is also delivered within the box. Uh, the wood uh, still uh, still the same of course and the back part of the bellows is in aluminium and the nozzle is in a platinum covered uh, brass. And last but not least well you have six little tubes uh, that are delivered with spare parts to change the screwdrivers extremities in high-speed steel if needed and each tube has the same color matching the same colored screwdriver. So that beautiful box is of course fully Swiss made apart from the ebony which is not yet growing in our Jura mountains and I just simply love it. No real need which makes it even more desirable and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave some nice uh, ideas for your Christmas shopping but as you might expect uh, well this little beauty comes at a certain price and you can see more on Petit Pierre's website and you can contact us and for info they also have a reduced sized uh, box called Passion Box but yes larger is better. So yes see you real soon for another video until then well viva watchmaking!